Hey fiddlers! All right, so today's tune needs no introduction. I'm so excited to work on this with you. Today we're going to learn Jingle Bells. So I'm gonna play it for you first, and uh, if you know it, of course, you're welcome to finger along, but the point really is to get it in your ears, and then we're gonna work on it together. Here we go, from the top, sounds like this. And a one, two, three, four. <laughs> Okay, so that's Jingle Bells. This is most likely a melody that's familiar to you. Um, what is going to be tricky today is that we are playing this in the key of A major, which means that we have G sharps. So that means you'll have high second fingers on the E string, but also a high third finger on the D string. So let's just go ahead and take a quick look at that because I always think this is a very tricky note. So we're playing a G sharp. <laughs> It should be third finger, one, two, three. And just match it so you know where that is. Yeah, and we'll be coming to that from a first finger on the A string, from that B. So let's practice that because this is a really tricky moment. I just want to look at it first. You'll play E, C sharp, B. Sorry, <laughs> you won't play that, you'll play this. F sharp, D, C sharp, B. Then you reach over nice and high to that G sharp. Try that with me one more time because it's gonna come lickety split when we're actually playing the tune, but when we, when we can take it apart and practice it, that's where we get real success. So just this little phrase. So that's going to be the trickiest thing that we're going to get to. I just wanted to throw that at you so you have a minute to process it, have a feel for where that is. So a great way that you can get yourself warmed up for this tune is to actually take a minute right now, pause this video, and go play an A major scale, really focusing on where those G sharps are, that high third finger. We're not going to do that in this video, but know that that's a really great way to warm up. Okay, are you ready to work on this tune? So. The beginning phrase um, basically is this lovely opening. You have a jump of a sixth. And then we return back to that E. So try that with me. Great. And then we do something very similar, but it just goes a little bit farther. Now we have the tricky phrase that we practiced. Reach to that G sharp. And here's another tricky choice here. If you're comfortable with the fourth finger, I would play fourth finger E. You could also jump to the E string, but I find that trickier with the bow. So then we have almost all of that again. We're starting with this beautiful opening. And then again, but a little bit different. Now we're going to reach. Instead of going down to that G sharp, we're going up to the E. And that time I would play open. And here's a dotted rhythm. So we're going to have 
dotted quarter, and then a quick eighth note. Okay? And then we're basically smooth sailing. We're at the part of the melody that's probably the most familiar to you. Watch out for those dotted rhythms. Remember, it's a quarter note with a dot. That means it gets half again as much value. And the great thing about a tune that's familiar to your ears is that you'll probably be able to sing that rhythm really naturally if you ever run into trouble. But that's going to be a little bit longer, and then the eighth note's going to feel really quick. Okay? So let's play this melody together. We're going to take the bowing as it comes. There's a couple slurs in there, but we're just, we're not doing any lifts or anything extra fancy. We're just going to keep the bowing really, really natural. And uh, yeah, let's try it. Biggest advice, have some fun. Here we go. A one, a two, one, two, ready, and. <laughs> A quick little bonus challenge for you. If you want to add some extra fiddle style to this tune, what you can do is when you get to the chorus, is what I'd call it, this melody, add the upper neighbor open E string for a really fun bluegrassy sound. It'll be like this. Okay? Just a quick fun thing you can add in, little bonus challenge, always another place to practice upper neighbors. Best thing about this tune is that it's really social and then I hope you have a wonderful time playing it with friends and family over the season that's coming. Best of luck and happy practicing.